Hey there everyone, this is Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you with a quick EDC video. Today I'll be covering my EDC pocket knife. This is the Benchmade 585 Mini Barrage. This Mini Barrage has been an absolute gem. I've carried this knife for a little over four years now. Now I've carried other blades in that time frame, but none as religiously as this one. And there's a lot of good reasons for that. First off is the size, the weight, and the overall features. This thing's been absolutely bulletproof. It's definitely proven. It looks great. It's comfortable. I honestly can't say enough good things about it. The Mini Barrage comes with different color blades and different styles. For example, I have a partially serrated blade. Now I typically don't like serrations and especially not on a fixed blade. But even on my smaller blades and my pocket folders, I don't like them either. Now I have to say, this was a gift. I received this from my best friend and my best man when I was his best man in his wedding. And what a hell of a gift. I mean, it's super sweet to get something this nice from somebody. And so, you know, I'm, I'm obviously in no position to complain about the blade and you know, everybody has a different taste. So. You know, even though if I had to buy this today, I would have got the plain edge, having the serrations has just been perfectly fine with me. Now on the mini barrage, we're talking about an overall length of 6.91 inches and a closed length of four inches. We're talking about an overall blade length of 2.91 inches, made of 154 cm. Mine's coated. They have non-coated versions, satin finish, but I do have the coated version. You can see that after all these years of use, a lot of the coating is worn away. Now I haven't exactly been nice to this thing. I've used it for pretty much everything under the sun, prying open cans of paint and cutting carpets up and different utility tasks, using it on cardboard, cutting rope, you name it, I've done it. It's pretty obvious that I don't use the serrations much. In this particular blade, you'll notice they're almost pristine. And again, that's even after four years of use. Now I have sharpened them a couple of times and I definitely hone the edge on that cutting edge on the uh, plain edge of the blade. But for the most part, I've never really had to truly sharpen this. I've always just stropped the edge or I've used my ceramic rods to keep this thing razor sharp. Now this is my first and only assisted folder. I really enjoy it. I mean, it's not completely necessary, especially if you have a knife with a, a really nice bearing system, but to have something that's that easy to open one-handed. It just makes a cool sound, sounds great. It's really nice having the spring action. I do truly enjoy it. Probably the best feature on this knife is the actual locking mechanism. Just the ability to slide that little nub over to the side and fold in the blade with such ease. You just can use either your finger or your thumb. So it doesn't matter kind of how you're operating, it's just nice to be able to pop that in and fold it down. Now some people do deploy this knife without the thumb stud, just by ho holding in that lever and giving it a little flick. That's not my preferred method, I mean this has a very accessible thumb stud, so I simply you know, pull it out of my pocket and just give it a little flick and that thing's right out. It's just about the perfect profile in terms of its thickness and its overall size. It's just really nice and easy to keep in your pocket. It doesn't take up too much space. It's not bulky. It never distracts you. It has a nice spacer in the back and actually a lock that you can use if you don't want to allow the assisted opening to accidentally deploy, but I don't use that too much and I've never had a problem. There's nice contoured scales on the side I believe these are some sort of a molded plastic, but they're very comfortable. And you'll notice too that you can even reverse the pocket clip if you wish. Now I carry mine right-handed. I've never reversed it. It's a tip-up style, which is my preferred. I, I tend to prefer tip-up simply because when you grip the knife with a tip-up style and the pocket clip in the back, you're not grabbing onto the pocket clip. Now you'll notice on a tip down style with the pocket clip being up by the pivot, you tend to grab onto that and it gets in the way of your hands. So for me, the tip, tip up style 
is actually ideal because the pocket clip gets mounted on the back of the knife and when I grip it, the clip is completely out of the way. It doesn't even touch my hand when I use the knife. And that's my preferred direction of carry for an EDC blade. And the pocket clip has been absolutely perfect. Even after all these years, the knife stays perfectly in my pocket. It's super easy going in and out of my pocket, stays secure. I've never had any issues whatsoever with this blade feeling like it's gonna pop out, but it still, at the same time, slides into my pocket with ease. And I know some people are big fans of those deep carry pocket clips. It doesn't honestly matter for me. I'm not, you know, really hot on it one way or another. I mean, for me, this is just a uh, perfect design, perfect size and shape. I'm not looking to conceal anything. I mean, I make it known that I carry a pocket knife and I'm not really afraid of it. I mean, this is perfectly legal where I'm at and, you know, of an appropriate size and design. So, you know, I, I'm never too concerned about that and I use it every day, uh, pretty much in all scenarios. So, you know, I don't try to hide it and I don't need a deep pocket carry clip. So anyway, um, you know, for me, this has been excellent. It's held up really well. I really honestly can't complain a single bit about it. So there it is, a quick tabletop review of my favorite EDC folding pocket knife, the Benchmade 585 Mini Barrage. Thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. I'll see you guys soon. If you like what you're seeing on these videos, please do me a favor and support my channel with likes, shares, and subscribing. Take care guys, I'll see you soon.